The breaking news tonight, new video of Trump ally Roger Stone that is likely to be on display during the January 6th committee's hearing on Wednesday. The Washington Post reports the panel plans to show video of Stone from a Danish-made documentary. In one specific clip, Stone speaks out about violence before the 2020 election. Excellent. <laughs> the violence. The violence. Well, the voting. Let's get right Let's to get the right violence. To Let's get right to it. Man. Shoot to kill. See an see Antifa? Shoot to kill. Yeah. Fuck them. Done with this. The Washington Post reports Stone went on to say he was kidding and renounced his violence completely. The 1 6 committee only obtained that video after the filmmakers complied with a subpoena. Stone responded to the video in a statement saying, in part, this. I challenge the accuracy and authenticity of these videos and believe they have been manipulated and selectively edited. Wednesday's hearing will be the committee's first in more than two months, and it could be the final one before lawmakers issue their report. Now, a former committee advisor, Denver Riggleman, has written a book about his work for the panel. It includes new information about a call placed from the White House to a rioter who was at the Capitol on Jan 6th. You get a real aha moment when you see that the White House switchboard had connected to a rioter's phone while it's happening. That's a big, pretty big aha moment. You get an aha. Wait a minute. Someone in the White House was calling one of the rioters while the riot was going on? On January 6th. Absolutely. Riggleman talked about that discovery earlier on this network. How in the world, in any way, would you have somebody on a White House desk calling a rioter on January 6th? The committee is pursuing this. They wanted to see the White House numbers. They couldn't get them. There's hundreds of them. So there's so much more here. Jan 6 committee member Jamie Raskin says they are aware of that call. Today they issued this statement, quote, Mr. Riggleman had limited knowledge of the committee's investigation. He departed from the staff in April prior to our hearings and much of our important investigative work. Since his departure, the committee has run down all the leads and digested and analyzed all the information that arose from his work. 